Nolagen here at Copeland's. Get stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our Restaurant Review Vlog, we visit Copeland's of New Orleans to feast on some great New Orleans food as we sample New Orleans seafood, pasta, cheesecake, and a cheeseburger for the best burger search. In this New Orleans food review video, we are visiting the Copeland's of New Orleans location in Harvey, Louisiana, which is on the west bank of the Mississippi River at 2333 Manhattan Boulevard, which is about 17 minutes and eight and a half miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This restaurant is named after Al Copeland, who founded the Popeye's Chicken and Biscuits chain and went on to found many other businesses, including the Copeland's restaurant chain in 1983. Copeland's offers New Orleans-style cuisine in a casual, family-friendly environment, and they offer some of the best food of any chain I've ever eaten at. Copeland's has been updating and changing each individual location of Copeland's restaurants and changing up the menu some and the exteriors. Let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this location out. Now this is an old classic design Copeland's with a menu pretty much the same as it's always been. And we're going to get the classic Copeland's experience here. And they have the dessert case here in the front, all kinds of delicious things there. Unfortunately, the number of Copeland's locations has been decreasing, so there are no longer any Copeland's of New Orleans locations actually left open in the city limits of New Orleans. While there are several Copeland's restaurants nearby in the greater New Orleans area suburbs, and additional locations spread around the states of Louisiana, Georgia, and Florida. They actually have a pretty good bar at this location, so you can have some good times here with some adult fun and a party on the patio here. And it's a pretty cool patio space out here for when the weather's nicer. So there's a lot of great options in this space. Okay, so now we're going to go into their main dining room. They do have a private dining space right there to the left. And then this is the main dining room area with a lot of tables in the middle and then booths on the edges. So we're going to be seated in a nice little cushy booth for this meal. And we're going to experience several meals here. So we're going to start off with a special event that I went to. So we had a choice of entrees with a shrimp platter, catfish platter, seafood platter, steak la boucherie, and chicken parmesan. So I got the fried shrimp platter and my dining companion got the steak la boucherie here. And I think the steak might have been a better option, although my fried shrimp was fantastic. They also had some special fall desserts with pumpkin bread pudding apple caramel cobbler and pumpkin pecan cheesecake. So let's take a look at the regular menu now. So we have appetizers with jazzy wings, jazzy tenders, artichoke and spinach dip, smoked tuna dip, hot crab claws, bayou broccoli, crawfish bread, buffalo spring rolls, crab stuffed beignets, soups and salads with corn and crab bisque, Cajun gumbo yaya, crab and avocado stack, seafood Lewis, Caesar salad, penthouse salad, and then you can add the salad chicken, shrimp, salmon, or a cup of soup. Then we have entrees with fried chicken and waffles, garden chicken, spicy herb fried chicken, tomato basil chicken, chicken parmesan, chicken alfredo, seafood dishes with crab cakes and shrimp alfredo, veal copeland eggplant piro, shrimp etouffee, crawfish ravioli, jambalaya pasta, shrimp and tasso pasta, crawfish fettuccine, seafood platter, shrimp or catfish platter. Next, we have handhelds with Copeland Burger, spicy chicken sandwich, shrimp or catfish po' boy, half po' boy soup or side, fish, bronzed grouper, herb crusted salmon, blackened catfish. Then we've got steaks with steak imperial, ribeye, classic filet, Steak la boucherie, specialty topping, sauteed crab meat, sauteed crawfish or garlic, sides, mashed sweet potatoes, roasted sweet potato hash, creamed spinach, steamed broccoli florets, red beans and rice, red hot potatoes, fresh baked potato, beer battered french fries, and side salad. On the other side, we have the adult beverage menu with a lot of good selections. And then at the bottom, we've got bakery with cheesecake, signature cheesecake, Al's favorite homemade Creole style cheesecake with signature toppings available and chef crafted cheesecake. 
on our feature dessert, blueberry cheesecake crumble and chantilly cheesecake. We have coffee with local New Orleans roast, cappuccino, double espresso, cafe au lait. And we have original desserts with bananas foster, homemade brownie deluxe a la mode, bread pudding, Alex's carrot cake, Big Al's chocolate fudge cake, and rum cream bread pudding. So my dining companion got the crawfish fettuccine that looks pretty awesome. And then I got the tomato basil chicken, which also looks really fantastic. Ooh, and I got a side of mashed sweet potatoes, which also looked really amazing. So let's dig in. Yeah. Copeland's biscuit, let's see. I do have to say that the Copeland's biscuit is really close to the old Popeye's biscuit and it's pretty awesome. It's a decent biscuit, but I think I like the ones I made better. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Pie Pies biscuits these days are more like a hockey puck, which uh, they're not what they used to be. This is the way the biscuit used to be right here, and it's way, way, way better. All right, let's give this chicken a taste. It looks good, smells good, and the proof is in the flavor, and it is very juicy and delicious, actually. There's some very good flavors going on here. This is some really nice chicken. I haven't had chicken this flavorful and this format in quite a while. Wow, it's just uh, not fried or anything. It's just a baked or otherwise boiled chicken that has lots of juicy, delicious flavors. Pasta looks pretty uh, nice as well, so perfectly cooked pasta. There's some nice flavors going on, so the combination of all of the things happening here is very, very nice all the way around. So this is a pretty simple thing. It just has tomatoes, basil, olive oil, garlic, and Parmesan cheese for the most part, and those very simple ingredients have combined together to be very flavorful with this pasta and the chicken. Everything is going together very, very nicely. It's uh, a simple yet really delicious experience to go and eat each and every bite. And I'm really burning through this faster than I thought I would. So I've uh, definitely made some definite damage in the chicken. I'm burning through the pasta. It's perfectly, perfectly cooked in every way and very easy to eat. It's going down easily and effortlessly and so, so rapidly. And I'm able to use my fork to spin the noodles around and around and get them all in the way that I need to to trap them on the fork so that I can eat them properly. Ooh, yes. So you can tell that they've been doing this dish for a while as they've really done a fantastic job with everything that they've done on my plate so far. And it's uh, definitely making my taste buds happy and my belly is feeling very, very fulfilled as well. Each and every bite is just chock full of lots of good flavors. I can't say that I have felt the pasta is too dry or is lacking flavor. Just looking at it, I would uh, often think that it was lacking sauce. However, they found a way to get every uh, area of this pasta pretty well coated with lots of all of the ingredients. So I'm very happy that I've got plenty of basil, olive oil, garlic, and Parmesan cheese, along with some very nice chunks of tomatoes throughout this pasta. So it's very, very nicely balanced. Typically, I am a sauce addict, and I just want to dump lots of sauce all over my pasta. However, this is uh, pretty full of uh, flavor and sauce all the way around, so I can't complain about any bite that I had lacking any sauciness. So they did a great job with all of the balance of everything throughout this dish. So, ooh, here we go with the last bite. And now, just like I totally destroyed this pasta, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this pasta. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. Next up, I got the mashed sweet potatoes, which to me, this is almost as good as a dessert. It's got lots of sweet deliciousness all throughout it and it went down very, very quickly and easily. I do love some mashed sweet potatoes. I would just every day eat these if I could. 
But now, just like I totally destroy these sweet potatoes, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about these sweet potatoes. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips. So I appreciate any help with that. So for dessert, I sampled the blueberry cheesecake crumble here, and it is a large portion. It is uh, a little uh, less cheesecake-like than I was hoping for. It's um, lacking any cheesecake texture. It's a little more like gooey, gooey, runny, and slimy. I'm not really uh, enjoying this dessert. This was... Uh, not my favorite version of a cheesecake. In fact, it was the least favorite version of a cheesecake I've ever had. So now, just like I've totally destroyed this uh, blueberry cheesecake crumble, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, but we're not giving the dessert a thumbs up, so I do not recommend this dessert. So comment below, let me know what you thought about this dessert. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived, and the total before tip for two people was $52.92. On my next visit, it was time for the best burger search, and I got the Copeland Burger. <laughs> So this has Monterey Jack, cheddar, and lettuce, tomato, onion, and it's served with beer-battered french fries on a side of mushrooms. This looks like a really fantastic burger. Ooh, it smells amazing. The burger meat patty looks really nice as well, and we have a whole lot of stuff going on here, so I don't know how structural integrity is going to uh, fully hold up. <laughs> and, ooh, I got a bite of the burger and the pickle before it escaped. Overall, though, this is quite a large, juicy, delicious burger. And the structural integrity is holding up very nicely. We have a good meat bun ratio, and the bun is holding up all of the weight of the many items on this burger excellently. There are some really fantastic flavors on this burger. Each and every bite so far has been chock full of all kinds of delicious, wonderful things. So all the toppings, the bun, and the meat are all going together to make for such a wonderful, juicy, delicious burger. I am really enjoying this burger. This is one of the best burgers I have had in a long time. It is a really top tier burger. I had forgotten how good the burgers here at Copeland's are. This is definitely a really great burger. They have uh, obviously been cooking this burger for a long time and have perfected it. So this is really delicious each and every component of the burger is going together quite marvelously. And I am thoroughly enjoying this experience down to the last bite right here. Ooh, that was a sheer pleasure to eat that burger. We had a little bit of third meal escape here, a tomato, a little bit of beef, all delicious and good. A little onion here, a little piece of lettuce for the last piece that escaped. Very little overall, considering how big that burger was. Now these fries look amazing and smell amazing too. Wow, they look absolutely perfectly fried. Good crunch in the outside, perfectly nice on the inside. These are amazing French fries as well. So everything in this burger fry combo so far is wonderful. I'm thoroughly enjoying each and every bite of this meal. Now we're gonna try these mushrooms here and see what they do for me. Ooh. So the mushrooms are gonna give me another little bite of good flavor here at the end. And of course, we got all these french fries to get through as well. Ooh. These are fantastic. Ooh, and here we go with the very last one. We'll say to see it go. Excellent crunch all the way to the end there. And now, just like I've totally destroyed this burger and these mushrooms, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this burger, the fries, and the mushrooms. While you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon account as I do work for tips. I appreciate any help with that. So for dessert, I decided to get the Chantilly Cheesecake, which is topped with blueberries, strawberries, and Frangelico sauce, and it looks really, really good here, as I really did not like the blueberry cheesecake crumble I had previously. This looks far more like a kind of cheesecake that I'm used to and like. Here we go. And oh yes, this is the cheesecake experience that I crave. So there's lots of good flavors here and I'm definitely enjoying all the components to this Chantilly cheesecake. Everything is exponentially better in this cheesecake experience than the last one. 
other than they served this to me in a styrofoam container instead of an actual plate as they were closing and didn't have time to give me a plate. So just like I've totally destroyed this cheesecake, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this cheesecake. And while you're down there, go ahead and check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total before tip was $29.45. So thanks so much to everybody at Copeland's of New Orleans Restaurant. And thanks so much to all of you out there that tuned into the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. Now, if you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with that YouTube algorithm. And then, tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagent here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.